Good morning, good afternoon, where are you guys are. Welcome to another episode of uh, Painting with Sunil Kalbandi, uh, Watercolor with Sunil Kalbandi. So I'm going to do another cityscape uh, from Paris. Paris is a, quite a popular choice for a lot of watercolor artists. I like it because every corner you have this classic cafe and especially the reference I've taken, I think you can find a lot of people have painted that corner and um, I'm going to paint that as well. Um, so before, if you're new to this, uh, the materials I use is the Saunders 300 grams paper. It's a John Pike palette and the brushes. So I'm going to include a couple of slides of what pigments I use and the brushes I use in the last couple of slides. So this one, I just need to pay an attention on my camera. I've recorded twice. For some reason it keeps turning off. So I'm going to pay an attention to that. So it's just a small value sketch, uh, it shouldn't take long, but uh, it's very important to have an understanding of uh, where the sketch is and what needs to be done. So uh, it's a 6B pencil, it's a Faber-Castell mechanical pencil, then also for, I have a Conte Paris uh, 3V as well, so in case of I want to do a value sketch. So I'm going to just do simple, I'm not going to add details to this one, but build the blocks first uh, somewhere there's the street line and I'm gonna okay so uh, that's where the Apple Tower is somewhere but um, And this property is coming all the way here. Roughly speaking, that's where the La Recruitment restaurant is. There's two yelling. Maybe I'll reduce the street line to match. So a couple of cars, I'm going to just add a couple of cars. Another car in the backdrop. Um, maybe that slightly. Hmm. So that one needs to be slightly higher. So we're looking at awnings about that high and the hotel, something like that. Cafe and people about that height. And maybe I'll add another car in the shadows. And a few people sitting, a couple more tables. And I'll add. So yeah, a little more details, but that details I'm not gonna I'm gonna come in. Okay, so something on that line. So what I'm gonna do is obviously that's And value one. Okay. 
and something of that nature. Okay. So Adding a little more value to the people, to the car. And a lighter wash. And not to forget the shadows of the car. Okay, and a little bit of Eiffel Tower. And not to forget the conic red. So that is roughly what I'm trying to do. So easy in terms of uh, composition. So few people on the side, few people. So obviously the main focus is that area. Uh, there is a couple of street lights and a traffic light, which I'm gonna add. And then maybe I'm gonna add a little more road in the front. So this is just an empty, so that there's a composition, better composition. So we'll see how it goes. Um, and let's uh, crack on with it. Okay. So obviously it's taped in the corner and I'm going to just do a block. Uh, first thing you want to do is just block it out. Make sure somewhere. Uh, and then add the detail. So roughly, that's where the shop is. Um, and I'm gonna go somewhere around that area. So, that area. Maybe a little. See how it goes. So I'm gonna just add um, okay. So we're trying to add And there is a signpost. Probably I'm going to add the signpost on the side just to balance that out. Uh, about that height. We'll add another card in the background. Okay, and there's a few more people. Okay, and 
Let's do the yawning, probably about that height. And so we'll add a waiter with a tray and two people sitting. A few more tables here. So roughly we're talking about the restaurant over here and also there's a sign that says cafe. Okay, so that's where design balcony okay something like that okay and let's add a little more detail that's the first building The second building sticking out. Oh, maybe there's a third one. And so forth. I'm going to blur that. But those are the. I'm going to try to keep one, two, three. And on this side. Maybe a little lower. I'm just adding, taking a little more liberty to add a few more details. A little yawning, and maybe a couple of signs. A balcony here and there, but mainly it's going to be very dark. So the last thing is maybe I'm gonna shorten the okay. Okay. I'm gonna put in a a traffic light cone part of the ambience and then maybe there's a light here and maybe I'm gonna add another light here okay uh, let's get to the Eiffel Tower so Eiffel Tower I'm gonna start in the center of the top where I want to make sure that it covers all the way till there okay okay that is my scene and we'll see how I get on with that. Okay. So, yeah. as I said, I need to constantly check if the camera is still running. Okay. So, big brush, a little bit of 
grayish reddish so i'm going to just test here i'm okay with that color maybe a little lighter there's so much going on i don't want to add more things to the clouds i'm just going to keep it simple i'm going to continue the effect here and i'm going to take a little more yellow ochre So, continue with the yellow ochre. I'll add a little bit of pyrrole red. just gonna pay a little attention not to block the cards and if maybe if possible a few people not to touch them Leave a little bit of white. We'll just put a little more, spray a little water. It's drying too quick. Oop, there's a zebra crossing, which I forgot. So that would be our scene. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to quickly dry this. So I start with uh, the backdrop. I got a little bit of tissue, so I'm gonna just use a little more blown tumble. So I'm gonna test it out. Is it too dark? That should be okay. It's a little dark. I just want a suggestion in the background.
have a few lines in the backdrop after that. So I'm just using a synthetic brush to make sure I don't Okay, so the Eiffel Tower is done. So I'm going to just continue with um, uh, that section a little more. A little bit of gray. Bound umber. So I'm going to just test it. That one seems to be okay. Every time I blow it, the glue starts coming out. I don't know that you guys had this problem. So every time I use a dryer, the paper stretches. So I'm gonna just go come in. Uh, that one is a little dark. I'm gonna just lighten a little bit. Um, as I come here, I'm going to just leave a few white bits and bobs. I'm just um, trying to make some sense of the background. I'm not looking at the detail of the image. I'm just trying to add some details. I'm just leaving in a little bit of white in between. So this gives a sense of, oh, I want to do that yawning. I forgot, I'm gonna come in. Okay. I'm going to make it a little more burnt umber, a little bit of grey. A little more grey. So I'm just leaving a little bit of white so that I can come in. Add some details for the car. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to try to keep this one a little alive by adding a little water here. And I'm going to try to finish it. And by the time it dries, try to connect that one. So a little bit of yellow ochre. I'll allow a little blue just to make it a little cooler. That one seems to be all right for... Okay. I'm gonna come in, add a little four round buildings. Uh, 
a little more gray. I'm just playing around till we get that one is a little dark. I'll take a little water, continue. There's a hair stuck here. It doesn't want to come. All right, I'm going to just leave that. So add a little more. Gray, I'm just trying to add a little more features. And come over here. Try to complete. I still want to keep that car. A little more gray. So I'm just coming in. Maybe I should have switched to a smaller brush, but where's the fun? Okay. Let's take a Okay, so that area seems a little dark. So that's the beauty about having a little bit of tissue. You just drag it and two yawnings. And we're looking at some more details on the side. And I'm going to switch to a little more synthetic brush. I just want to add a little more details to the apartment here. We're a little just take a little more pigment Keep adding details. I need to check if my camera is still recording. Okay. Okay. At this stage, I'm going to just take a
So I'm just adding a few more details which we won't see, but I'm just trying to Okay, I'm gonna just continue to the other side. A little more Algerian. So a little more cafe, a little more dark. Oh. Okay, and okay. A little more detail. There's some blue in the brush, which keep I, I keep telling I should keep keep the brush clean. And So I'm just adding a little more details. Let's pay a little attention to the people. Why will that one rise? So. I'm putting a little bit of teal, I'm just checking. I think I've squatted the wrong paint in that one. But that's all right, I'm gonna just, um, just finishing one person at a time. Okay, that one. So that. Okay, a little bit of lavender. A little bit of lavender. Okay, so and then also I'm going to add another pencil for the back. Okay. This blue is very strong. I don't use it. I've squatted it now. 
I need to remove that blue. That's a potion blue. It's very strong. Uh, it can easily overpower even a neutral color. Okay, so. Okay, I'm just adding a uh, few people. In the backdrop, while I'm trying to finish off the cars and other things. So. Okay, so let's do the front car. Maybe a slightly reddish car. And not misty pink. Let it run. The other cam. A bit too much water. Well, that's all right. And don't forget the, the tire. And the light. So that area is a little too light uh, and also it needs a little more dark in that area. That one looks too light. So I'm going to just uh, beef it up. So uh, let it bleed a little bit, see what happens. Okay, so now I'm getting to that area. So as I said, 
that one is two, but it needs this brush is too slow. Uh, just trying to cover, finish that area. Drawing, I'm just gonna add a couple more lines if I can, but it's still too dark. I'll have to come back and then it's a bit too wet over there. That's all right. So, okay, and the shadows. Let's add a little more shadow. First of all, I'm gonna make the red a little more pop up. It's not red enough. Okay. Now we are talking a little bit. So if it's red, it has to be very red. I'm just checking if the camera is still working. Okay, so a little more caffeine. And also, there's a sign 